Okay, here's a level four problem. But actually, it's x squared minus four x plus three equals 15. Kind of looks like level three. I bet that's really level two in disguise. In fact, I'll let you on a secret right now. Everything is level two in disguise. That's it, that's everything. All right, okay, let's play with this one. I feel confident, I'm feeling good. Here goes, let's draw the quadrat, the symmetrical square. Let's do the symmetrical box method. So I know I'm gonna draw a square literally. It's gonna be a complete square in four pieces. One of the pieces is gonna be x squared. Keep symmetry our friend, x times x. Negative four x will be these two pieces that got split, split symmetrically. So a negative two x and a negative two x. Something times x makes negative two x. That better be negative two, negative two which means the final piece I want here is negative two times negative two is four. Uh-oh, x squared, yes. Negative four x, yes. Four, no. Oh, I've got a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Oh my goodness, okay, I was actually feeling really good then. I don't have a four, I've got a complete mismatch. The box wants the four, the question has a three. All right, right now. This is why this work is relevant for the 21st century. It's teaching a life skill. Here's the key life skill right now. If there's something in life you want, make it happen and deal with the consequences. Here's the thing, I want a four. I don't have a four. I'm gonna say, make it happen. How can I make that three or four? Let me add one. But there are consequences. I can't just add one to the left-hand side. The consequences are gonna to have to be, they're gonna to have to add one to the right-hand side as well. So this equation is really x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals 15 plus 1 is 16. Let me work with that instead because, oh I love this, because x squared minus 4x plus 4 is precisely this picture. This left hand side is a square that's x minus 2 by x minus 2, so x minus 2 is a square equals 16 and we're back to level 2. Something squared is 16, my something better be 4 or negative 4 add two throughout, x is a six or negative two. Beautiful, beautiful. Whoa, the key is, if there's something in life you want, make it happen, and deal with the consequences. And back to level two. You just have to love this. Let's do one more example, level two, for level four, and then I think we're ready for the next level up. In the speed experience, it's all just magic. Look at this. All right, here goes. So what's a good question? I'm gonna see if we can solve x squared plus 10x plus 30 equals 69. Woo, I'm jazzed. All right, um, I'm not scared of mismatches. I'm gonna just make things work out. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a square. It's gonna be a complete, completed square. Symmetry is our friend, keep everything square. There's an x squared piece from x times x. There's a 10x piece split symmetrically to 5x and 5x. Something times x is 5x, five. Something times x is 5x, five, five. That means that's 25. There's a mismatch, it wants 25, the math wants 25, I've got 30, I'm not perturbed. Make 25 happen, make it happen. Whoops, take, take away five, take away five, deal with the consequences. So really this is x squared plus 10x plus 25 equals 64, and life is good. Because all this, what is that really? It's x plus five by x plus five as a square, there's all the pieces, x plus five, as a square, apparently equals 64. And I chose really nice numbers when I created this problem. Uh, X plus five is eight or negative eight. X must be three or negative 13. Love it, absolutely love it. All right, now there's plenty of practice problems in, you know, in the documents with these videos, but let's keep going. Let's go to level, uh, level five that we're on now. Level five, let's do it, woohoo. Okay, welcome to level five. And it kind of looks like the same levels too. Split solve, say x squared plus three x plus one equals five. Piece of cake. All right, here goes. Let's draw the complete symmetrical square. It's gonna come in four pieces. One of the pieces is x squared, coming from x times x for the sake of symmetry. Three x, all oh, three x gets split into two even parts. So that's what, one and a half x and one and a half x which means this must be uh, one and a half times x, three halves, three halves, one and a half, which means this piece is what, three halves times three halves, uh-oh, I'm in fraction land, uh, nine fourths. And I've got a mismatch here, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, so we've got a mismatch. I bet I could make this work. If I'm willing to work with the fractions, I bet this will, this will work. In fact, I know this will work. This method will never let you down. It just won't be fun playing with the fractions. So here's my next challenge. I wonder if there's a way I could tweak this problem so I can avoid fractions. 
So to think about that, what, what, what caused me fractions? Well, if you notice, it's this odd number in the middle. But I've secretly been putting even numbers in the middle every single time so far. This is our next problem. What if you have an odd number in the middle? We want to split into two symmetrical parts. That gets into fraction land and life becomes hard. So the challenge is, just to make my life easier, because I don't want to do this, though I could, um, could I do something to make that middle term not be odd? Well, some people say, OK, OK, we have to think here. Um, you could, if you like, add an x here, and then consequence, add an x there. That make that 4x, which is fine. But then I kind of get something weird. I'll do my square, and I'll get my answer in terms of x's. We don't want answers in terms of x's. We actually get all of x, not x's within the answers. So I have a feeling if I did that, sure, I could probably do something, but still but not, might not be clear what's going on. Good idea. Good idea. Just turn out not to be helpful. All right. There's another good idea we can come up with that might or might not be helpful. Well, let's try it. Let's try it. Um, again, this is one of these moments when you're being a mathematician where you say, OK, I'm stuck. Let me go for a walk. Or let me go do something else for a while. Let my subconscious work on this. But you know, you want to watch me sit while I go for a walk again. Um, let me show you what might eventually occur to you. One clever thing you do to make that middle number even is to double it. In fact, we can just double the entire equation. Let's multiply everything through by 2 and make it 2x squared plus 6x's plus 2 equals 10. Aha! Aha! Let me now do that. That looks good. This is feeling hopeful. All right, okay. A piece that's 2x squared. All right, okay, all right, before I go on, uh, 2x squared, what? 2x and x? Uh oh, uh oh, symmetry is our friend. That ruins our symmetry. That's not symmetrical. Actually, if I really want to keep it symmetrical, I guess it should be the square root of 2 times x and the square root of 2 times x. That would work. And then I could do 3x and 3x, split that up. But then these numbers are getting really weird and really weird. So if I didn't like working with fractions, I suspect I'm not going to like working with fractions with square roots in them as well. So that's a good idea. It will work. I promise you it will work. Just it probably won't be fun. Oh, bother. That was a good idea, but it just turned out not to be helpful. So much of the case in mathematics this is what doing math is like. You have great ideas that turn out not to be helpful. And then you have to come up with more great ideas. Um, again, you have to really think about this one. It's kind of a shame I have to give the, give the answer away in a video, but I'm going to give the answer away. But you might realize that 2 there is awkward. I like the doubling idea to get even, an even number, but what if I actually didn't double? What if I multiplied everything by 4? If I doubled and doubled? Because that will keep that middle number even, but now I'll have 4x squared plus 12x's plus 4 equals 20. Which seems insane, because I've now made my numbers huge in this problem. But let's try it out. Now, you'll see it's good, because I do like 4x squared. 4x squared, I can keep it symmetrical, 2x and 2x. 12x, I like. I can keep it in the whole numbers when I split into two symmetrical parts. Careful here, though. Something times 2x equals 6x. That better be 3. Something times 2x equals 6x. That must be 3. So the number I want is 9 there. 9. Oh, bother. OK, now what? What am I going to do now? All right, so let's see. Um, I've got 4 and I want 9. Well, something like you want? Make it happen. Add 5. Deal with the consequences. Add 5. So let me think of this now, even worse, as 4x squared plus 12x plus 9 equals 25. And I like that. I like that because all that stuff there, 4x squared, 12x, and 9, is precisely the 2x plus 3 as a square. 2x plus 3 as a square being told is equal to 25. And welcome to level 2. Something squared is 25. My something better be 5 or negative 5. And then I can just tweak it around, subtract 3 from everything, and then probably halve everything, and then I'll get x all by itself. Whoa, that's level 5. So, so. If you like fractions, it will work. Work with fractions. If you like square roots, if you double everything, it will work. It will work with square roots. But if you want to avoid those things, turned out the clever thing to do was to multiply through by 4 and look at that. Everything fell into place. Welcome to level 5. Try multiplying things by 4 if that middle term is odd and see if things are good. I love it. Love it. But you know what? We're ready for level 6. Let me do that in the next video.